Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. Um, no, I can't post too many pictures on uh, the forum, and I like to post pictures, so I decided just to just go ahead and do a quick video. This is a uh, Kydex inside the waistband holster that I picked up from alabamaholster.com. Uh, this isn't the original one I had ordered. Um, the style that I had ordered previously was called the Hooker and it's the type that goes over the waistband and then hooks under the belt and for me it just seemed to sag too much on my pants and I, I didn't like that so uh, he was uh, able to uh, swap it out for me actually pretty quickly for this uh, clipper model that clips over the belt as you can see with what he does with the kydex it has kind of like a hook there to catch on your belt this one's for an inch and a half belt the uh, retention on this is great and as you can see it's pretty thin kydex it is pretty stiff though and he does a good job of rounding all the corners and blending all that so it, it's nice and smooth if it uh, you got love handles and such it doesn't really dig into you uh, I've been wearing it here for a couple days and, and it's pretty comfortable and it literally disappears with the t-shirt on on me and I'm kind of a small guy um, go ahead and put the gun in it. I already safety checked the weapon before I started the video. It snaps in pretty good. I've done the shake test with the full magazine too and it doesn't come out. And it has a nice draw on it. All in all I'm pretty happy with it. Um, as you can see here I have a Bear Creek outside the waistband holster that I use and it's actually pretty comfortable too. Um, I'm going to use this predominantly for the colder times of the year where I might have a fleece jacket on or a winter coat for that matter. I don't know how often I'll do that here in Georgia but um, with the fleece jacket and such you can wear this pretty much anywhere from 3 to 5 o'clock and you really don't see it. Uh, but this Kydex one, it just, man, you slip it in your pocket at 3.30, 4 o'clock, and it's, it's just like you don't even have it on. Uh, I'm really happy with this setup. One other thing I wanted to show, because I know it's, I've read about this issue with other holsters that people have picked up. And I'm going to try to get this in the view here. If you look down that... Let me see if I get it just right, right there. You can see it's kind of got a trough there for the sights and the uh, the loaded chamber indicator, so there's nothing for that to uh, to catch on. Um, all in all, I'm really pleased with this holster. Um, again, it was uh, AlabamaHolsters.com. There was a, somewhat of a wait to get it. And I think predominantly because he's a, uh, I think a husband and wife team. And I think he's kind of in high demand for the holsters that he makes. And uh, But he was able to swap it out for me when I wasn't happy with the other one. No questions asked. Super friendly guy. Really good with his communication and getting back to me. And uh, you guys should check him out. He makes pretty good stuff. Here's another goodie I've recently picked up. Uh, I've been looking around for a good case for uh, taking weapons with me when I go on the road. I I travel with my uh, my Air Force position I'm in uh, pretty much uh, all throughout the southeast and I do some flying and even when I do driving it'd be something handy to have too but uh, I'll probably be carrying it on me in uh, most of the states that I visit but um, like going to Florida and maybe some of my farther out trips to Tennessee I was looking for something to take on the airlines I picked up one of these uh, Pelican cases the Storm Case IM2100. I got it off uh, the Midway USA site. I had some credit with them, so I got a, a pretty good deal on it. And uh, it's got the pick and pluck foam in it. And as you can see, I've already kind of got it laid out. Uh, got my my LC9 in that slot. Got my little LCP in that one. Got my magazines, multi-tool. Keep my uh, Benchmade Auto in there. 
and uh, keep my stream light that I, this is my all my daily carry stuff. This is a good light by the way. Been real happy with it. Uh, let me go ahead and take this stuff out and show you. It's got actually two layers to it. So I decided to uh, layer this to carry some ad additional items. I have this cut out here for a box of ammo to take with me. Um, but see I added another storage compartment here and I have a my little Gerber flipper here as a backup knife and I've probably got maybe one or two spots I could create over here just to carry additional stuff but all in all it's a pretty tough case um, I think this is one of the pre-approved ones uh, by TSA to uh, check on airline flights and such it's got spots here for locks and uh, these clasps actually work really easy it has a push button and they unlatch real easy and snap back in place without much effort it's got a nice rubber covered handle on it so anyway just thought I'd share it with you guys